Did you know that a single negative trait can influence your perception of someone even when evaluating them for a job? According to a study by Bertrand and Malanathan, job applicants with traditionally white-sounding names were 50% more likely to get callbacks for interviews than those with African-American-sounding names despite having identical resumes. This is just one example of a cognitive bias known as the Horn Effect. In this video, we'll dive into what Horn Effect bias is, why it's important to understand it, and how you can apply this knowledge in your everyday life. So what is Horn Effect bias? It's a cognitive bias where a person's overall evaluation is negatively influenced by one unfavorable aspect, leading to an unfavorable perception of the individual. In other words, we let a single negative trait cloud our judgment about someone's overall character or abilities. The Horn Effect can happen in various situations, such as when hiring new employees or meeting someone for the first time. Now, why is it important to understand the Horn Effect? While it can lead to unfair treatment and missed opportunities for individuals who may be highly qualified, but are perceived negatively due to a single trait. This bias can also hinder diversity and inclusion in the workplace as it often stems from stereotypes and assumptions about certain groups. Understanding the Horn Effect can help you make more informed and fair decisions and create a more inclusive environment. Let's use an analogy to illustrate the Horn Effect. Imagine you're shopping for a new car. You found a car that has excellent fuel efficiency, a comfortable interior, and a reputation for reliability. However, you notice that the paint job has a small scratch. If you allow this single negative aspect to influence your overall perception of the car, leading you to pass it up in favor of a different car with fewer features, you've fallen victim to the horn effect. The same can happen when evaluating job candidates. You might receive a resume from someone with outstanding qualifications and experience, but notice that they have a small typo in their resume. If you allow that single mistake to overshadow their qualifications and don't call them in for an interview, you're experiencing the horn effect. Now that you understand the Horn Effect and its potential impact, let's talk about how you can apply this knowledge in your daily life. Here are a few steps to help you recognize and mitigate the Horn Effect. 1. Be aware of your own biases. Reflect on your own judgments and decisions to identify instances where you may have been influenced by a single negative trait. Recognize any stereotypes or assumptions you might have and challenge them. 2. Separate the individual from the trait. When evaluating someone, try to separate the unfavorable aspect from the rest of their qualities. Remind yourself that one negative trait doesn't define a person's overall character or abilities. 3. Seek additional information before making a decision based on a single negative trait. Gather more information to get a more accurate and well-rounded picture of the individual. This could involve asking for more examples of their work, talking to references, or conducting a thorough interview. 4. Implement unbiased decision-making processes. In a hiring context, use structured interviews, diverse hiring committees, and blind recruitment techniques to minimize the influence of personal biases. In conclusion, understanding the Horn Effect bias is crucial for making fair and informed decisions in various aspects of life, especially when it comes to hiring and evaluating others. By recognizing and mitigating this bias, you can contribute to a more inclusive and diverse environment, both in the workplace and in your personal life. Remember to be aware of your own biases, separate the individual from the trait, seek additional information, and implement unbiased decision-making processes. With these tools in hand, you're now better equipped to combat the Horn Effect bias and make more fair and well-rounded judgments. By actively working to address this cognitive bias, you'll not only help create a more inclusive world, but also open yourself up to new opportunities and connections that you may have otherwise missed. So, next time you find yourself evaluating someone, whether it's for a job, a project, or even just a first impression, Keep the Horn Effect bias in mind. Recognize it, challenge it, and strive to make a more balanced judgment. By doing so, you're taking a small but significant step towards building a more equitable and inclusive society. Thank you for watching this video on the Horn Effect bias. We hope you found it insightful and that you can apply this knowledge to improve your decision-making process. Don't forget to share this video with others who might benefit from understanding the Horn Effect and its impact on our daily lives. Together, we can create a more inclusive and diverse world, one decision at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content on cognitive biases, diversity, and inclusion.